Okay, so, hi everyone. This is my turtle tank, and I need to clean that off on the glass right there. But yeah, that's my turtle tank, and there, I have a goldfish for him, which is actually a feeder fish for him, but he ended up not being able to catch it, so it just grew with him. And yeah, I have the lights that I need. Got the basking thing, the filter, driftwood, the heater's down there, I don't know if you can see it. And he keeps moving it, but that's okay. I don't know if you can see him over there or not. That's him right there. You can see his arm and his shell right there for you. Looking good. And let me see if you can see him over here. Yeah, you can see his little leg over there, but yeah. So that's that, and for, oops. Okay, so for feeding, I feed the goldfish don't even know where he went. I feed the goldfish, the top fin, goldfish flakes. And it's actually really good. It has all the things that the goldfish will need. And there's a turtle right there coming out to see what's happening. And Nia, yeah, he's kind of a scaredy cat, but that's okay. He's just staring as you can see, and he's probably gonna come out soon. But yeah, so for right now, this is my turtle food. I use Reptomen floating, floating food sticks. It has calcium and the vitamin C. It has literally what they need. And it, it's not, it doesn't have to just be used by um, turtles. It can be used by newts, frogs, lizards, and other reptiles. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. That's the food part for him. So yeah, and as you can see, he's coming out now. Just zoom in. That's my turtle. This is an eastern musk turtle. And yeah, there's the goldfish over there if you can see him or not. But yeah, that's that's my turtle, the little guy. And he is currently in a 20 gallon long tank. And this should fit him for most of his life. I might end up getting a 50 gallon, or I might end up getting another turtle, I don't know. But yeah, that's Mr. Turtle. And over here, uh, this is my, I use, I also use flukers. Look how big he is. <laughs> yeah, make sure not to overfeed them guys because that happens in captivity a lot. But yeah, so this is flukers buffet blend of turtle food. Yeah, it looks a little messed up because I've had this for a while. It has shrimp in it. It has regular pellets, mealworms. It has... It had um, fish in there as well, um, as you can see in the ingredients. Sorry for that little glare over there. But yeah, it has everything that he needs and feeding instructions. Yeah, feed to juvenile, feed, feed to adults, you know, just the regular stuff. And the goldfish and the turtle are doing fine, as you can see. And they get along really, really well. The fish knows to not go too close to the turtle. And the turtle knows that if he really wants to, he can eat the fish. Like, I've seen him chase him when I first put the fish in there, and he was never able to get him. So he just stopped trying. So, yeah. Sorry for the little blur right there. But, yeah, that's that. And that's turtle over there. He's probably trying to find some... He's probably just trying to look around just to get up some air or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm wondering, I'm just going to show you guys my turtle for right now. As you can see, they have really, really long necks, which, um, which is good because their bottom, their bottom grazers, I guess you could say, they stick on the bottom. So they are able, they have an adaptation for when, since they're, they stay on the bottom, they can breathe through their tongue. Like when they, when they neuter, they they can breathe through their tongue through the water if they um but not for like their whole lives like they need to get air that's just like a temporary fix for it and they're not the best swimmers as well so that's why the water's so low but yeah the water's about halfway with the filter the lights are turned on as you can see and the turtle's doing great as you as you just saw he was getting some air and he's out and about now so yeah, that's my turtle. I'm just gonna show you just some, just 
videos of him. I'm not show you videos of him, but you know. These are, this is just a little video of him and his goldfish. Okay guys, I'm back. So as you could see, the turtle was just getting air and now he's just moving around. I guess just exploring. And the goldfish is over there. He was hanging out with the turtle a little bit. And yeah, I also use a water conditioner and the water conditioner works really well for the tank. It helps it clear out the cloudiness and stuff, which is good. So let me show you that real quick. This is the water conditioner I use, API Turtle. It makes the tap water safe. It removes like all the things that could harm the turtle. And as you can see, they have a picture of a red-eared slider. But yeah, so you just put water in here. And I mean, you just put water in your tank and you put this in the water and you let it sit for a minute. You gotta just let it sit. And then once it's done with that, then you can put your fish, your reptiles, whatever you really need for them like put that stuff in and then you can put them inside and then it should be it should be better and I, I, what i've seen personally is it actually does help clear the water from its cloudiness because i have as my substrate i use sand so since i use sand it can get quite cloudy in there sometimes well when you first put it in it's a little cloudy but yeah here's a good view of the goldfish don't know if you can see him or not yeah, so that's over there. So yeah, this is what I use for him. And I also use this as the stand for him. That's where I got it from. And yeah, use a power outlet just in case anything happens. And let me show you just the rest of the tank. There's Mr. Goldfish in there. This is how the tank looks, 20 gallon long. Looks, it's a pretty big tank. So that should last him for a really, really long time. Since they only get to about 4.5 inches at max, the biggest one they have ever seen was 5.4 inches. And that's like the regular one. And um, they're, that, I'm sorry, that's not the regular one. That's, I was gonna say that's like the regular one for a mud turtle, but that is actually false. Mud turtles, I think, get about the same size, about five inches. But they're more likely to get that big but yeah this is my tank i have a little background set up as well back there i need to clean that off once again but yeah so i have a heater back there if you can see it that that green heater and yeah that plant that you see right there next to the goldfish that green plant that's hanging out of the water a little bit too that my turtle usually goes in there yep he likes to stay in there and to feel hidden and they like the dark. I see that goldfish likes the dark as well. Turtles back there. Chasing out the goldfish as you can see. But you can see they're really close friends. <laughs> and the fish knows when to move out the turtle's way. Because it's just a natural instinct, which is good. Because I don't want the fish to just be eating. As you can see, the fish is pretty big compared to that turtle. It's not super big, but yeah. And, that tur and my turtle has sand up on his shell. So, yeah, I believe my turtle is becoming a juvenile now because he's not a baby. I know that. So I think he's a juvenile. And as they get older, their shells start to round up a bit and not be as pointy. And if he ever comes out again, you could see that his shell is getting more round. So he's definitely a juvenile, I believe. And yeah, this is all about my turtle. You could see him. He's on his hind legs, that means he's probably getting air. But yeah, he likes to go. I That drift one I really like because he is able to walk on that little step thing right there. 
right there he's able to walk up on that and that's pretty good for him because he can step on that get up there and there's a little spot up there for him in this in the filter he's able to climb up there actually right there you can see he's able to climb up and get on top of there but yeah i haven't seen him do that yet but this tank's new got it a couple days ago maybe three days ago when i set everything up so yeah he's back there but yeah my uncle helped me a lot with all of this he's the one that made this be so good and as you can see he's up on the filter because that's that's what he likes it he likes to climb a lot they're really good climbers in the wild they like they actually climb trees too so that's really cool so yeah this is a little this is some footage of him just enjoying life being in there so yeah now just gonna let it just gonna show you all around goldfish <laughs> it's like eating at the plant that plant is fake by the way but the driftwood is real it's mopani driftwood we got it from uh i can't remember if it was i think it was pet smart we got it from pet smart and yeah the filter is really silent uh i wish you could see it from my view because it's better over here that just looks like raindrops over there but yeah but yeah let me go up real quick sorry about that let me go up as you could see my turtle's over there getting some air but yeah I, if he sees me he's gonna get scared and he's gonna go like super fast out of the water i mean back into the water so yeah that's him as you can see he's just staring at me sorry i keep saying that just a thing that i do see told you he would do that but yeah that's turtle and i named him turdzilla and yeah that's the background looking good turtles over there driftwood plants you know got good things and yeah he seems to be pretty active which is good so yeah that's my turtle and i'm just gonna continue to show you some footage of him and he's getting air right now. You can just enjoy the waterfall effect in the background. Okay, so I forgot to mention at the beginning, I got this turtle from a lake and I didn't know at first that that was bad and I didn't know anything about turtles at that time. So.